104.5, the team, your home for New York sports. A very cool experience now. We've, we've seen this this north thing going on all over Minnesota, and Eric Dayton's here to explain it to us. I just thought you were all big Game of Thrones fans. I didn't know there was a whole thing behind <laughs> it. So, so tell me, tell me about the pride in the North, the way, like what we're, what we got going on here. Yeah, well, you know, it's it's winter in Minnesota, and we're we're excited to be hosting this event during this season. And so, to me, the North means telling our story and embracing our cold winters, sharing those with with the rest of the country, the rest of the world, and, and showing everyone the traditions that they allow us to uh, to enjoy here in Minneapolis. See, I was excited because you knew Albany. In Minnesota winter like few people when we keep talking about Albany they like kind of freak out they're like oh no you're mean you're from the city no we're in upstate so we have a little bit we can relate to when it comes to those See, tough I, winters. I think, I think the spirit of the north that it extends it's not just geography you know it's it's sort of it's it's a spirit it's an it's an energy it's it's you know traditions and activities I actually went to I went to college not far from Albany so I know that I know that part of the country well and you guys you guys have pretty serious winters up there as, as well so we've got that in common. Wait, where are you yeah. Albany like a Great Dane graduate? Or no, I went. I was up in uh, sort of northwestern Massachusetts, or in the Berkshire Mountains, but uh, but but close to Albany, and, and so I, I know that I know that uh, part of the country. And you guys have you know four seasons as well, just like us. That's right. Well, Eric, I think the difference between and you tell me if I'm wrong because you experienced both longer than I have. The difference between Albany winter and Minnesota winter is we have trees. I think you guys need more trees. The wind is 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 evil. All right, well, we'll, we'll see what we we'll see what we can do about that. But you know, you got you got to dress for it, as you guys know, and you but you, you got a good coat, you put on a good hat, and you get out and you you have fun. You don't let it stop you. So we got incredible things going on all week. Great ways to get outside, and enjoy enjoy the enjoy the snow, enjoy the cold, and uh, it, it seems like that's what people are doing while they're here, which is really exciting to see. Minnesota has been um, amazingly friendly, amazingly welcoming. In, in this North campaign, it, this hat is very cool. Tell, like, where did the where did the idea for the hat come from? Like, just I know you said like the winter and stuff, but there's something about it. Like, normally when when I show pride in in, in whatever, people feel excluded. You guys show pride in being in the North and welcome us all into it. Yeah, it really it is a very inclusive idea for sure. And you know this this started, you know, in, in the past we've maybe been referred to as the Upper Midwest and you know kind of dismissed as flyover country and uh, and we weren't happy with that you know we, we felt we had we had a story to tell we had something to offer we want to make sure people know what we have what we have going on here and, and this 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 uh, message this narrative of the north allows us to do that and this moment of the super bowl being here with with the global spotlight on our city and our state is a really exciting opportunity if you're from the west coast or if you're from the south you might hear about minnesota you might hear about yeah <clears throat> upstate new york and be like all right so what do i do in the cold you're now here. For those people who want to experience it the right way, what are some of the things we should be doing here in Minneapolis? Well, so there's, there's an incredible 10-day celebration of winter going on right now called the Great Northern, and we just wrapped up the U.S. Pond Hockey Championships this past weekend, which is a, you know, a, a international event, teams coming in from all over the world to, to play hockey outdoors on a frozen lake the way, the way nature intended it. Uh, we've got the St. Paul Winter Carnival going on all week. Terrific programming uh, in Rice Park in the heart of St. Paul. And then this weekend coming up is the City of Lakes Lopit, which is a cross-country ski festival uh, right through the heart of Minneapolis. There's outdoor food events. So uh, everywhere you look, there's something going on outdoors. And, and, you know, bundle up and get out there. Now, it's funny you bring up pond hockey. We have our own pond hockey tournament coming up later this month in Saratoga. What's a, what's a good tip for anybody who wants to compete in pond hockey? Because it's different. It's not the same as clean, fresh ice. That's right. Yeah, I mean, but you, so you got you got the you got the wind, you got the elements. You know, if it snows a little bit, then that changes things. But that's that's kind of the, the fun and the energy of it. You're out in the elements, you're out in the conditions, and you know, the fresh air, cold, crisp air. It's, it's hard to beat it. Is there truth to the rumor that beer helps, makes you better? Uh, I I think there's okay. probably something to that. Yeah, All right, I, 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 I stand a chance. I stand a chance. All right, so the Vikings aren't in the big game, unfortunately, for Minnesota fans. But the Eagles and Patriots are. Do you have a pick for the game? Well, you know, I, it's hard for me to pick pick a favorite there. Of course, we're all still mourning the uh, the, the Vikings a little bit here, but you know, I, I see this as just a, a big win for Minneapolis and for Minnesota. It's been a great energy all week, and, and it's as I said, fun to share what we have to offer with the rest of the world. Eric Dayton with us right now as we uh, we are in the bold north and checking out these hats now. If if I'm somebody who wants a souvenir from this and I want one of these North hats and I want because you know God's war and he was so pretty, how do I how do I get him back home? Do I have any way to grab him in the capital region? Well, we've got we've got a shop in the North Loop of Minneapolis, and we've also got a website askofinlinson.com, and uh, so you know come on down and, and pay us a visit in the North Loop. Uh, great energy throughout the city. These hats are made actually up in northern Minnesota, so it's it's not just a, a product that tells the story of Minnesota, but it's also it's also made right here in our state. What's something that guys and I have to do before we? get on our planes back to the capital region 
Well, yeah, gosh, you know, make sure make sure you get outside. I would say the uh, the, the Luminary Lopet on Saturday is a really incredible event. It's, it's outdoors on Lake of the Isles and sort of a candlelight outdoor celebration. The whole community comes together to, to get out on a, on a cold winter's night, and it's a really wonderful kind of a, a magical event, great sense of community. So I put that on your list. Love it. Eric, Dayton, so much, uh, so much information, so much love for Minnesota. That's what it's been like talking to all you guys, and thanks for welcoming us to your town. Cheers. Well, welcome Sorry. to Minneapolis. Great to have you guys here.